It's been five years, though, since Tiger Woods won a tournament. But on Sunday, everything rushed back. You had the red shirt. You had the fist pumps. You had the crowds. More importantly, you had a victory. Tiger captured the Tour Championship, uh, and he capped off an encouraging 2018 season. And maybe you missed the tournament because you're watching the NFL, and that's understandable. But maybe you were in front of your TV and you were able to flip back and forth. Tiger finished the season setting up what could be a great 2019. Next April, he'll probably be the favorite at the Masters. But it's been quite a comeback. I don't know if we've seen a comeback like this. Because I've talked to golf analysts, announcers, broadcasters before. And I said, what was more important? What was more impressive? What Tiger did when he was winning or what Tiger didn't do when he was losing? Because you had almost an equal amount of days, weeks, months, years in dominating and then, of course, disappearing. And I would say the fact that Tiger disappeared for a decade is really amazing because what he did in that first decade, we thought he was going to be great. We didn't know that he was going to be the second coming. But when he disappeared and the injuries, I mean, he's been through an awful lot, obviously. But that's what was amazing when you had this sea of people. You probably had 15,000 people on 18 following Tiger up the 18th fairway. And it almost looked like it was something you'd see on the Golf Channel, a, a movie about a golfer and a comeback. And I wouldn't, you know, put it past people that they're thinking about that because that, that's the movie part of this. He was great, but then it's the comeback with everything that happened. And here he is. In 18 tries, he finished in the top 10 seven times this year, including two majors. So the next hurdle, you got the Ryder Cup coming up, and maybe he wins a major. And then he picks up the chase of Jack Nicklaus. But he became relevant. That was something that he wasn't. And as I cautioned these younger golfers, be careful what you ask for. Because, hey, boy, it'd be nice to have those Tiger roars again. It'd be nice to know what it feels like to play with Tiger when he's in contention. Well, just ask Rory McIlroy. He shot a 74 playing next to Tiger. Can't wait for 2019 with Tiger Woods. He's healthy, and I know that people will point out his age. You know, you can still win. You know, this is different now in how you take care of your body. You know, Jack surprised everybody at 46. You know, Phil's been in contention at his age. So Tiger can be in contention, and, you know, you get – four shots at a major each year. So let's say the next three to four years and you get 16 shots. All right. Tiger might have a chance here to catch Jack. And nobody would have thought that many, many years ago or the last decade here. Dan Patrick show is brought to you by the great folks at true car. They show you what other people paid for the car. You want so you can recognize a good price when you're ready to buy a newer used car, visit true car and enjoy a more confident car buying experience. Here's uh, Tiger Woods talking to Steve Sands after the win yesterday. Beginning of the year, certainly um, that was a, a tall order. But as the year progressed, and I proved that I could I could play, and I found a swing and uh, put pieces together, uh, I, I knew I could do it again. He was emotional. He was emotional. He did not know if he'd ever reclaim that feeling. And you know, he he. He put the flag down. You know, he was he was on the moon where you put the flag down and say, this is my territory here. But you got the fist pumps. You got, you know, the, the red polo shirt. And the crowds were all into it. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.